June 4, 1940. Nazi forces enter Paris. Within 10 days, they control the entire city. By June 13, 1940, the Parisians have evacuated, with the Nazis enforcing a curfew on its few remaining native inhabitants. The former City of Light waits for the Allies to arrive and lift the shadow that has fallen over Paris. However, the heroism of D-Day will have been for nothing if the Allies cannot hold the land beyond the beaches of Normandy. Better, Huxley. Hey, you! Uh, what's your name? Uh, Nichols, right? Come get your gun. I got five bucks says you can't hit four in a row. There you go. Four helmets in a row, you win five bucks. Watch me. I'm gonna bag me a few of these. Oh, nice. There's smoke grenades in here, too. See if you can get one in that old barn there. You wanna try cooking one off? <laughs> You're supposed to throw <laughs> the grenade, not the pin. You got a good arm, Nichols. Come on, Nichols. Let's see you use a smoke grenade. <clears throat> nice one, Nichols. Damn, Dixon's looking right at us. All right, Nichols. You're all ready for Jerry. Hey, Dix! This one's a four natural. Don't tell them about my little grenade acquisition, okay? Well, that sure showed them. Guys, there's Nazis wearing helmets, too. What do you say we go find them? Gather up weapons and ammo and get on that truck. Move! Nichols, grab a Thompson from that crate in the supply tent. You're gonna need it where we're going. You may have to bash the crate open with your rifle. The supply sergeant likes to nail everything shut. All right! Everyone on the truck, let's go! to me dead. Rule two. Uh, what difference does it make? You'll all probably end up dead anyway. Well, that was sure inspiring. You want inspiration, Huxley? Read a poem. Sarge is ten times the soldier you'll ever be. Okay, listen up. Today, we're on a secret mission to get coffee and donuts. The problem is, the Germans drank all the coffee and ate all the donuts. So now, we gotta go kick their asses. Or we could just stay back at the base and eat those nice French rolls they got. We'll be providing ground support for Task Force C. We're coming in from the west flank. And guys, remember rule number one. Oh! Oh, oh man! Oh. I love that yeah. smell. It smells like home. Germans are this far out? 
I thought we had this area. It's been like this for weeks. Hey, wait up! You got Jim, it, you slow down! Come on, driving. I'm on the come on, bus. Come on. Come on, you can make come it! Come on, guys, this isn't funny! Whoa. Yeah. Let's go! 
Fancy seeing you here, Sarge. Show the hell in a hacksaw out there. You run into much trouble? Nah, the Jerry sure is hell, kid. This place will be rumble inside of two minutes. We can't stay here. Wait. God damn it. Where is everybody? Sound off! Ah, oh, screw that. We have to fall back. Now that's it. I'm falling back. Frank. Frank, put the gun down. Let's just all calm down here. You're not crazy enough to shoot me! Desertion's a capital offense, Guzo! Shooting you won't be crazy! It'll be the sanest thing I've ever done! Frank, come on now! Guys! We got ourselves a tunnel here! Looks like we got a way out! Alright, we're bugging out! Move! We'll continue this later. Nichols, let's go.
those Jerry cowards are bugging out. Guzzo, Radio Division. We've taken San Lo. As decisive as Normandy, the liberation of Saint-Lô opens up the road to Paris. The American army pushes through to the southwest, while the British, Canadian, and Polish advance from the northeast. The German-controlled territory in the middle comes to be known as the Falaise Gap. The Gap sees some of the most ferocious fighting of the last great war. Guy sticks a gun in my face. You don't think that's enough to buy me a transfer out of this unit? Have you thought about writing your congressman? That's very friggin' funny. Gear up. We're going to St. Germain. The 90th is short-handed, so we're getting folded into their unit. Looks like your transfer request came through. rather be with those guys. They got the easy part of this. Copy that. They just gotta sit and wait for us. Quiet that up! Okay, on the signal, we're taking this hill. We gotta flank Jerry, because if we don't, the rest of the division can't move through. So, that's it! Move, move, move!
Okay, here's the situation. There's an anti-tank gun up the road keeping our tanks from moving up, so we gotta take it out. We'll split up and flank. Half the squad will go left, then through that house, and up the riverbed. Other half will move over that wall and continue up the ridge. Got it? Nichols, you're on point. Out of here! 